Good afternoon, and welcome to a special edition of the Worth Report for April 23rd, Keeping America Vigilant 2021. Racism Against Whites, the African American Reach and Teach Health Ministry, or ARTH, is making it impossible for white individuals to become vaccinated against COVID-19 in the name of equity. The taxpayer-funded provider's website lists specific days available for people to get vaccinated, and for each day there is a page showing that day's, quote, targeted audience at the very top. It then asks the user if they are part of that targeted audience. If they are, they can proceed with scheduling their appointment. If they're not, the option for no states, quote, join the standby list above. You will be contacted if appointments become available. As of this segment, the organization's homepage lists four available days for vaccination with that day's location for the site, May 1st, 5th, 8th, and 9th. For three out of four of those days, the target audience consists of people of color. For one day, May 5th, the target audience is blank. It's unclear whether the organization is leaving that day open for any race. For example, the target audience for May 1st and 8th is, quote, black, indigenous, and people of color, while the target audience for May 9th is, quote, super familias, undocumented people, people living in unsanctioned encampments, Latin X, black, artists, elders, shag, and senior centers. The problem with the standby list is that white people are only contacted when the primary waiting list for people of color is emptied and appointments become available. So basically, never. ARTH consultant Tawanda Hill stated that the organization receives federal, state, and county funding, but would not specify which government agency provided them with the funding for this particular project. She also argued that the system isn't, quote, truly exclusionary because a small percentage of white people on the standby list do make it through. Washington State Department of Health policy is that whites or anyone the department deems as at less risk than others, quote, may not be able to participate in a specific event or get an appointment in a specific block of time due to, quote, systemic inequalities in health care. Oh, really? But if this was a white organization doing this, the left and Black Lives Matter would be all over it. It should come as no surprise that this organization's website states that they are in, quote, solidarity with Black Lives Matter. I'm sure they are. The pattern lately here, folks, and the reason behind Black Lives Matter is to force the white population into the minority and make us submit to every other race for the sole reason of being white. They want to use this to divide our country because divide and conquer is their motto. That's why they're doing the whole reparations thing and diluting our population with illegal immigrants. Stay vigilant, folks, and at the same time, don't project the corrupt actions of these colored organizations onto anyone solely based on the color of their skin, as if these people speak for them, because they don't. Americans need to flip the script and stand together, regardless of race or ethnicity, in order to counter the left's attempts to divide us. Thanks for watching, America, and please, if you haven't done so already, support our channel by signing up early for our new platform at theworthreport.com. Once we finally migrate over, we will not be uploading our segments anywhere else, and you'll need a subscription to watch our newest segments to help us keep doing what we're doing. We appreciate your support, and we love you all. This has been a special edition of The Worth Report for April 23rd, keeping you vigilant, America, 2021. God bless you all. God bless President Trump, and God bless America.